five. Here's the open. Stand by. Here we go. First at four, the heroin epidemic hits hard in Hartford. Thank you so much for being here with us at four o'clock. I'm Lorenzo Hall. And I'm Jen Bernstein. Five overdoses, one death, all within the last 24 hours. Now police are trying try to track down bad heroin out there. Fox 6 News, Javon Hall is live at police headquarters. Moving up with Javon. Yeah, good afternoon, Jen. Lorenzo, Jeff, and Fox 6 News. Jen Fox is back with you. Jen, you know what you She's, she's moving Frank, she's off. Oh, I thought you meant Jen. Anyone with any information is urged to contact Hartford Police. Now, coming up on the news at 5, we didn't just talk to cops. We also spoke to medical professionals, and we'll have some advice that all families need to keep an eye out for. We'll see you then, Javon. Thank you very much. Well, the heroin epidemic, combined with the state budget cuts, is causing the state medical examiner's office to lose its accreditation. Chief Medical Examiner Dr. James Gill tells Fox 61 inadequate funding and insufficient staffing have been cited as reasons for losing its national accreditation. Specifically, the National Association of Medical Examiners says there's an insufficient number of forensic pathologists, death investigators, and clerical personnel for the volume of cases in Connecticut. It cites seven forensic pathologists, each performing more than 325 autopsies in a year, and calls that unacceptable. Now, the governor's office is pointing to the opioid crisis as a contributing a factor to the increased number of autopsies, and today released a statement saying we will strongly consider the request of OCMB in developing the governor's budget proposal next year. Also commenting on the loss of accreditation, saying most medical legal death investigation offices, medical examiner, and coroner offices are not accredited. Now, it's anticipated that in January, an on-site inspection by the National Association of Medical Examiners will result in a loss of Connecticut's full accreditation. So what does this mean for law enforcement and criminal investigations? We're going to have some answers from the other side of the So right now at 4, Connecticut State Colleges and Universities are ramping up efforts to prevent and address sexual assault on campuses statewide. Some of the efforts include an online tool to educate students on the issue, as well as bystander intervention and consent. Students will receive comprehensive orientation of a web-based program called Not Anymore, which uses peer-to-peer -peer testimonials and scenarios. So we are going to be working as tirelessly as possible to make sure that those incidents don't happen. Yeah, the new effort also includes law enforcement and campus resource training. It will be in place at all 12 Connecticut campuses later this month. You have four identity sexually assaulting patients for the third time. Fox 61's Aaron Logan joins us now in the studio with the disturbing details. Aaron. Jen Lorenzo, one patient went to police, then another, and another. These victims allege Dr. Jeffrey Crowley sexually assaulted them. As of today, his license to practice is still active. Even non-patients were stumped. This is 51-year-old Jeffrey hey, Crowley, the dentist in Meriden. He is the only female bot major. Another day making crap out of crap. Three days in a row. Under the
word on Facebook Live. What do you think of the studio? <laughs> Jen, give us a wave. Next at 4 o'clock, tragedy in Iowa. Two police officers gunned down in an ambush-style attack. More on the man now in custody and how the community is rallying around officers. Plus, Election Day now less than a week away. We break down what you need to know before you cast your vote next Tuesday. Stay with us. Tim's up. What? Huh? Yeah, I mean, they pulled back behind you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. So, Renzo, you're on the move to AMSU. Move it around. What do you guys think? I love it. Yeah. It feels more spacious. I feel like our temporary studio, we're in a way yeah. basement a little bit. You should have seen it move like so close. Man. I think we're getting cabin fever a little bit. Back to the big space. How cool is this screen behind us? Yeah. It's huge. It's great. Right, Matt? What's that? All right. Well, 